Hey guys, it's Lisette here, and for the first hairstyle, I'm spraying my edges down with some water, and you can also use some gel, and I'm just brushing my hair into a high ponytail. When I cut my hair, my main goal was to be able to keep my hair in a ponytail because I absolutely hate when my hair goes into my face. And of course, you can put on a headband to make your look a little bit more interesting. <laughs> my hair tie just flung out out of nowhere. I don't even know what's going on. But for my second hairstyle, it's just to wear your hair down. But you have to make sure that you're giving your hair the right amount of moisture. So I'm using my Paul Mitchell Deep Conditioner and putting this all into my hair and just raking it through with my fingers. and seal in that moisturizer with some oil. So I'm using virgin coconut oil. I always use gel for my styling product because I love the hold that it gives. Since my hair is so short, I just tend to rake it through instead of going in sections. Get out your diffuser. I put mine on warm and low and diffuse away. It takes a good 15 minutes to get your hair fully dry. The things we do for beauty, huh? <laughs> My hair is so much more bouncy since I cut it. I'm so happy. It feels so nice. Okay, so I do this hairstyle probably like six days out of a seven day week because it's so simple and easy and it gets the hair out of my face. You just part your hair from ear to ear and tie up half of your hair. It's so simple, but so cute. For this hairstyle, you want to part your hair onto the right side and section off the two front pieces on either side of the part. Cute. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just flat twisting on both sides. Free the rest of your hair, grab an elastic, and tie those two pieces together in the back. bobby pin and you're good to go. Again, starting with the right side part, I'm sectioning off my hair just onto the shorter side. Within the section, I'm dividing my hair into three and with each third, I'm flat twisting. Before I secure with a bobby pin, I'm taking a clear elastic just to make sure that the flat twist doesn't go anywhere and then I'm just taking a bobby pin and back pinning it into place.
You could do more or less, but I just decided to do three because I think that's a pretty good amount, but you could do more or you can even do the whole top part of your head, but I just like doing the side. It gives a little detail to your hair and I think it looks really cute. I'm taking the whole front part of my head and it looks really, I look like the grudge right now, it looks really scary, but um, sorry about that guys. <laughs> but I'm just sectioning that away from the rest of my hair. Smoothing it down and I'm starting to French braid. I'm French braiding this entire chunk along the length of my forehead. Find a little place so you can put the rest of your braid and bobby pin to secure. Gives it like a braided headband. I love this one. This is actually what I wore on my birthday, to my birthday dinner. Keeping the fringe braid in place, I'm twisting the back of my hair all the way around to the other side of my ear. Grab a hair tie. And since my hair is really short and it's hard to put it in a bun, I'm taking these little straggly pieces and I'm folding them over and creating like this little cute bun. Can't even tell, can ya? For this hairstyle, start with the middle part and section off your hair on either sides. French braid on both sides. Part your hair in half. And I'm creating two little pigtails. So I'm just, you know, securing my hair on both sides with hair ties. And I'm wrapping the braids under and around the elastic. I honestly think this hairstyle is so cute. I mean, it's not like baby cute, it's just, it's just cute. I love it. Starbucks break. Keeping those two French braids in place, I'm taking all of my hair up into my hands and I'm actually making a bun. I did not think that I could fit my hair into a bun, but some of it started to pop out these little pieces, so I'm bobby pinning and securing it down to give it more shape. Okay, and for the last and final hairstyle, I put my hair in half, and then what I'm doing now is I'm just French braiding along the edges of my hair. When I'm done with both sides, I'm taking the French braid and putting it on the opposite side of where I braided it, and just secure it with a bobby pin. This took, I think, like 15 bobby pins because you really need to make sure this does not come apart. Because mine tried to, mine tried to pop out.
and we're done. I hope you guys learned something, and of course, if you like this video, then make sure to thumb me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh,